should have been an awesome day, but as usual, everything went horribly wrong. All because Judy's stupid grandmother died. Oh my gammit, I just sinned again. You should never damn the dead. Now I have more prayers to say. See? The day just keeps getting worse. Don't worry, kid. These days, it's nothing for a surgeon to reattach a limb. Wait, you forgot his arms! Okay, so maybe things finally are turning around. But up until now, this day was just plain terrible. It all started at school when Judy told me and her best friends the really sad news. <laughs> so I know my granny was old and wrinkly and smelled like rose powder. And pee. Totally. But I'm still sad that she died. <gasps> All I have to do is act really sad about Judy's granny and she'll completely bond with me and we'll be able to grieve together forever! What's up, Faxes? Judy's granny died. Bummer. I knew you'd understand. Arr! Why does Kevin always think of stuff faster than me? I guess I'll just go to that funeral and show everyone just how upset I am about losing a granny. Well, Judy's granny, but still. But Mom, I asked you to buy me a black suit. Can't you see I am in mourning? How about showing a little gratitude? You think it was easy stuffing that suit in my purse? <laughs> Everyone can tell those are fake tears. <laughs> Why did you have to leave us, Granny? Why? <laughs> You've left a void in my heart that will never be filled, ever. It will die like you. <laughs> I may never love again. That is so sweet. <laughs> Take me instead! Take me instead! <laughs> Ew, granny panties. To think she has to wear those for all eternity? I didn't know you were friends with my granny. Oh, yeah, I used to volunteer at the old people home. You know, mopping up drool and stuff. I never got to say goodbye. Come to my house tonight. We'll have a seance up in my room so we can both say goodbye. Oh my damn it! Judy's inviting me over to her room. That's practically a marriage proposal. Oh, I'll be there. I'd do anything to talk to dear old granny again. We're ready to begin. Everyone, let's hold hands. I'm not holding Figglehorn's hand. Don't be a dinkweed, Kevin. How else are we gonna summon granny's spirit? Dear Granny, if you can hear me, please visit. We want to talk to you. Oh, if it isn't my sweet little grandchild. Judy, your Granny has taken over Kevin's body. And who the hell are you? It's me, Granny. Don't you remember me from the home? Never seen you before in my life, you little liar. Now get Grandmama some chocolate. But Granny, you can't have sweets. You're diabetic. And you're killjoy, just like your father. Now, I'm going to try this one more time, and then maybe you'll leave me alone. Kevin! Ew, gross. He landed in the wood chipper. Oh, well. <gasps> just like Granny did. Fred Figglehorn, this is all your fault. You've ruined my seance in the memory of my dear Granny. I've learned two really important things today. That old people can be really mean, and that the world would be a happier place without death. Death can bring out the real animal in people. Although it did get me an invitation to Judy's room. How else would I have been able to steal this beanie baby? <sighs> I need a moment alone to collect my thoughts. Rest in peace, Myrna Munsley. And peace out, gangsters! <laughs>